Well, hello America! We're going to do a little cooking today. I want to try something I've never tried before. Cabbage soup. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I don't know if I've ever had cabbage soup. Um, I saw it on a friend's um, um, Facebook post. Uh, so there was a recipe thing there and I thought, I saw it and I thought, I'll try that. So, what I'm going to do, what it's... What uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, brown. This is the last of the uh, pork roast. Uh, I've been getting comments about, boy, you sure eat a lot of pork roast? Well, no, not really. Uh, just seems like I video these. Um, when I bought by the pork roast, it's a big old long tenderloin, right? And um, I can't eat the whole thing. And so I used to cut it in half, cook a half of half of a. Uh, uh, half of the tenderloin which made a full crock pot meal and uh, I'd eat half of it and then throw the other piece in the refrigerator and the next day just throw it in the microwave well microwave quit working here a few weeks ago about a month ago I guess don't know why just quit working so I'm gonna have to probably buy a new microwave convection oven uh, I'm in the process of looking that up right now so anyway had the pork roast instead of half cooking half of this time and eating the rest um, I'm quartering I, I cut it in quarters so I'm cutting, cooking basically just one serving at a time so that's uh, that's why I've been doing that um, so what I'm going to do is that's heating up as we speak I'm going to cut open this up and squirt out the very last of this pork roast on my cutting board Mm. that's the last of that <clears throat> but we're going to cut it up instead of a whole piece uh, whatever I'm going to cube it so give me a second I'm going to try to get some of this fat off of here Which looks like it's going to be easier said than done <laughs> Right, we're gonna put some olive oil in here and we're just gonna brown these. We're not gonna really cook them all the way through. I just want to brown them to get some of that uh, it's one other thing I learned about a previous roast I, or a, a tenderloin I cooked. I browned the thing and big difference in flavor. Big big difference. So waiting for that to get hot. <clears throat> so I guess the recipe is gonna be the um, uh, pork tenderloin cubed up in bite-sized pieces. I'm going to brown them and then I'm going to cut, I'm not going to use the whole head of cabbage because that thing will be this big by the time you cut it up. Um, I'm going to use maybe a third of that maybe or a quarter, I don't even know how much. Uh, it called for chicken broth, okay, and it called for tomatoes and I don't know if it's tomato sauce or maybe I should use Rotel tomatoes, I don't know. Uh, there was multiple Put this, I, from what I research I did on the uh, different kinds of uh, cabbage soup is basically just throw stuff in and if you like it throw it in there so oh onions yeah throw me my onions in there and it most of the recipe said to use a white onion I don't have a white onion so I'm just gonna throw this red onion in here which is a little stronger onion it's not a sweet onion it's a kind of a bitter onion but I like them and as it says I'm not out here kissing anybody so who cares what my breath smells like right 
<laughs> All right. Got to put, slap your mama, got to put some of that in there. Don't know why, I just, I like that stuff. I don't think you can go wrong with it. So we're going to let that heat up and kind of soften the onions up a little bit and I'm going to throw the meat in there. That's all we're going to cook that. Alright, something I learned a long time ago watching a cooking show. I don't remember where it was, what it was. But head of lettuce, I would assume cabbage. I assume cabbage would do the same thing. Set head of head of lettuce, you take the place where, you know, the bottom, the, 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 the stalk, I guess, the core. Okay, where they cut it off, and just hang it straight down and just... Oh, it didn't work. It doesn't work on cabbage. <laughs> it only works on lettuce. But you hit it like that and that whole cord just breaks loose and comes out. Ugh, cabbage is a little too tough, I guess. So we're going to have to cut it up. So let me just cut off about that much of it. No core in that one. Okay. All right. Something else I want to make clear. I am not a cook. <laughs> Uh, somebody asked me, why don't you put recipes down, write, write recipes down, because there is no recipe. I look on YouTube, I see something I like, I just kind of ad-lib it and throw it together. So uh, that's how I cook. Uh, usually it comes out pretty good. The other day, that, that tenderloin I ate, I cooked it way too long and it was in vinegar. And the vinegar, I guess, sucked all the moisture out of it. It was dry. I choked her down, but it was dry and it wasn't any good. It wasn't no good at all. All right, so let me shut the generator off now. This is all fried up pretty good. It's not completely done all the way through, but it's got it's got flavor to it. All right, put this in the crock pot. That smells good just by itself. All right, so there's the crock pot, uh, that stuff. We're gonna put the uh, cabbage in here. Now I cubed the cabbage up pretty small because I want it all to fit on a spoon, okay? It's all spoon sized. Because I plan on eating this kind of like a soup, okay? Or hell, exactly like a soup. All right, chicken broth will definitely go in. Where's my dingy dingy? It is. Chicken broth, all, all of that goes in. And then I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go with the Rotel. Uh, the uh, Rotel tomatoes. Might be making a mistake there, but the heck, you only live once, right? And I'm trying to remember what other kind of recipe there or ingredients there was. See, there was stuff like garlic, garlic powder. Um, here's some garlic powder. Throw some of that in there. How much? About that much. I don't know. There's no recipe. I just throw it in there. Oregano, basil, Italian, lemon pepper, seasoning, salt. Uh, 
Oh, I saw one of them had, uh, here it is, chili powder. One of the recipes had a little bit of chili powder in there. Let's go just a tad. I don't want to overdo that one. That's it. I mean, I just, whatever I see, whatever I think might go good, I'll throw it in there. So there, there is no recipe. I'm going to put my tomato sauce back. I'm not going to use that. But that's it. I mean, um, you want to know how I cook? Look on YouTube. Think of what I want. What do you want to cook? What recipe you want to cook? Go to YouTube. Watch a couple videos. See how they did the recipes. Add a little bit. Throw it in there and cook it for a while. Uh, one of the things I, I remember watching on a show, it might have been Julia Childs, it might have been Martha Stewart, it might have been America's Test Kitchen. It was, it was one of those um, cooking shows that I watch. Um, cooking, you can ad lib. You can ad lib. If you want it, throw it in there. If you don't like it, take it out. Baking, though, you got to follow the lines, uh, the, follow the recipe on baking. I guess that's pretty, pretty precise. But as far as cooking, just throw it in there and have fun with it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap all this stuff back up. We're going to throw this in the crock pot. We're going to cup, cook it for, I don't know, a couple, three hours, I suppose. And uh, let's see. It's five, 5 o'clock now. So probably about 8 o'clock tonight I'm going to be eating. So we'll be back with you. Bye. I need to get. Let me get me a ladle spoon. <laughs> now, what I have is this. <laughs> oh, well. up in about one inch cubes, throw it in a saucepan, brown it a little bit, a little onions, throw that in the crock pot, uh, one can of uh, chicken broth, a can of Rotel tomatoes, um, what else was there? Oh, the cabbage, <laughs> uh, part of the cabbage, just to whatever volume you think is right and uh, cook it for about three or four hours and man that's coming that is that is good so cabbage pork tenderloin soup perfect 